Well, my Sith juggernauts, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yes, that's right. We got your tax and your Sith bonuses coming in 6.0. Let's take a look. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Sotor brothers and sisters out there in a galaxy far, 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 far away. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your Sotor news, funds, and apparently now guides. Yeah, do all the things, do it, do it, because I promise you, if you do it, you'll get the best tactical gear in the world. Yes. Anyways, my friends. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. Bioware has released the Juggernaut, my Sith Warrior Juggernaut friends. Yes, I've got a couple. Yes, I do. Um, they have released the tacticals and the set bonuses that will be more than likely coming in 6.0. Now, remember, a lot of this is subject to change because it's like, you know, still brand new. And they still want everyone's feedback on everything, which is crucial. And I'm really happy that they are doing this and asking for this feedback. Now, with that said, we've already gone over uh, the Marauder and all that stuff and what they're going to be doing and all that junk right there. And now we're over in the Juggernaut. So let's take a look and see what Bioware had to say about what is coming to you Jugs out there. Now, some of this will be a little bit redundant, considering that's what they, they did. They, uh, cut and copy and paste in some of these, but uh, we'll just read through it anyways. It says, let's talk about spoils of war in the store for the Juggernaut. Below you will find Juggernaut, Juggernaut's new ability, the set bonuses that are planned for them, and a list of their new tactical items. You may see bonuses which refer to charges. We are introducing new tech and onslaught, which will allow abilities to have multiple charges, meaning you can use them more than once per charge, and the cooldown will simply add a charge to the maximum. Uh, also, he says, you will note that compared to the Sorcerer, the Juggernaut has fewer set bonuses. The reason for this is that although the Advanced class has less, the base class of Sith Warrior has more than the Inquisitor. It still results in eight set bonuses options overall. And like they said, like I said, everything is subject to change. The new ability, Furious Focus. We focus furiously. <laughs> So this is the mirror of the new Marauder ability. Furious Focus has four ability charges and recharges every 30 seconds. Activating Furious Focus consumes all charges, causing your next attack to do 25% additional damage. That's actually pretty awesome. I like that. For example, if you consume three charges, your next three attacks do 25% increased damage. A lot of these things, guys... We are entering into a golden age of SOTOR, and with this new gearing changes, and with these set bonuses, and with the new abilities that are coming our way, my friends, oh my, oh my, some might even argue, crap might be a little bit OP. Let's continue. The set bonuses. These bonuses will likely have the high end of piece requirements, such as requiring four to six pieces. The smaller piece bonuses will be more passive in nature, stat bonuses, etc. Retaliator! Taking damage during Endure Pain grants Retaliator stacks. Totally thought this said Realtor. I'm like, Realtor, are they selling things? Increasing the damage of your next Retaliation by 10% per stack. Strengthening Scream. No comment. Threatening Scream increases your damage reduction by 5% for each enemy you hit. This effect lasts for 10 seconds. That sounds like a really cool thing for you tankies out there. Tactical items that are coming. That's right, here they are. Juggernaut, high focus. Enrage builds one fur furious focus charge. Keep away. Activating Saber Ward finishes a cooldown of Force Push. Grit Teeth. Taking damage while Endure Pain is active reduces the cooldown for enraged defense by 10 seconds per hit. This effect cannot occur more than once every 2 seconds. Interceding Defense. Reduces the cooldown of Intercede by 5 seconds. Intercede grants 2.5% damage reduction per ally around you after interceding. Which, you know, that makes sense because you're interceding. Immortal. Crushing Defense. Crushing Blow generates Crushing Defense stacks for every enemy it hits. Increasing your damage reduction per stack for 10 seconds. Indomitable. Using backhand while, invinci while invincible extends the duration of in invincible by 5 seconds. Retaliating Defense. Retaliation consumes Aegeus 
Agius, Agius? Assaults damage reduction and grants retaliating defense. Increases damage reduction by 5% for 20 seconds. That's right. And my vengeance friends out there, bloody vengeance. Bloody vengeance, I. When a bleed tick critically hits, it reduces the cooldown of vengeful slam by one second. Payback. Retaliation finishes the cooldown of Hue and allows it to be usable on a target with any health level. It also causes your next Hue to enable retaliation. This effect cannot occur more than once every 10 seconds. Crimson Slash. Weren't they a rock band in 83? I don't know. Vicious Slash refer refreshes the duration of Force Scream and impales bleeds on the target. Now it's kinky. Rage. The current plan is that these will be mirrored to the Fury options we listed it for the Marauder. The team is exploring adding some unique ones for Rage as well. And they said, like, the quote, and they put down for the Fury, where Detonate is Raging Burst Detonate's Force Crush, dealing damage and slowing enemies in the area around the primary target. Obliterator, using Obliterate with Furious Focus, causes it to critically hit. Force Barter, Furious Strike, refunds one additional Rage after it hits, but refunds all its Rage if you would have fallen to zero. As a note, he says, if you are a Guardian player, you can expect to see these bonuses mirrored for you as well they are still in process and again as always my friends make sure you give them your feedback this will only work if you give them feedback which is what they want that's why they're giving us a lot of this information now and why they want to put some stuff onto the pts so we give them feedback so that when onslaught does go live in september It'll be a good launch instead of, you know, going live and people are like, I hate this. What the heck? Well, listen, they, they've asked for our feedback for a lot of things and we need to give it to them. If we don't give it to these to Bioware, the feedback, and then something happens and we're not happy. Whose fault is that really on that one? Right? Yes. So be nice. Be civil. Give them the feedback you think is good for whatever um, class or advanced class you are using. Um, in this example, it is the Juggernaut right now for the class that we're using and its uh, advanced classes. Um, I think it's really cool. I like it. A lot of these powers are just like, man, this is a lot of this is this is some OP stuff going on. So it should make operations and flashpoints pretty interesting down the road uh but yeah i'm looking forward to it. i'm looking forward to jumping on my jug once that happens and just to play around with these tacticals just sound like there's going to be a lot of like a big learning curve for us as we go in and almost relearn how to play our characters our tunes and our classes in there now that they are like throwing the old playbook out and giving us a brand new one and pretty much just changing all the things which you know I think it's a good idea, and it's a great idea for this game. Anyways, my friends, let me know your thoughts on all this. Put your comments in the comment section below. I read every single one of them and try to respond to all of them, if I remember. And make sure you hit that like button if, uh, if you like what you see here. Uh, please do so. The more likes we get, the more, al the more the algorithm likes us. So let's try to get at least... 40 likes yeah let's do that one and if you really like what you see here you want to become part of the family here on booming nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep man of gaming make sure you hit that subscribe button my friends as always remember to be kind it's about community and we'll see you later good day